hey guys welcome back to the channel so today finally we are with a new vlog this is the first vlog that i'm doing in this channel and uh, this is all about a detailed review on the slipper clutch that we have installed in our ns200 so i've been getting many queries and uh, questions in instagram as well as in the youtube comment section that what are the drawbacks and what are the negativities that i felt after installing a slipper clutch unit in ns200 and uh, this vlog i hope this vlog covers it all and if there is anything that is left out you can free feel to contact me in instagram so this video covers what are the pros and cons of uh, installing a slipper clutch unit in ns200 and uh, let's get into the video itself so before uh, getting into the actual part of pros and cons let me explain you this one thing which i haven't covered in the video that when you purchase the slipper clutch unit you get the entire assembly including the rear basket but the rear basket doesn't fit into ns200 because the rear basket the size of the gearing behind the rear basket is little much bigger than the stock basket that is already there in the ns200 so if you people uh, try to install the rear basket it's just a waste of time as it doesn't fit and the size is pretty much bigger and that's about the rear basket and one more uh, quick tip that i would like to include is when you are installing the stepper clutch unit in a brand new motorcycle or you know a motorcycle which is not run for a long kilometers uh, then it will be perfectly fine but if you are installing it on a ns200 or rs200 or duke 200 whatever the bike you planning to install if the motorcycle has run uh, so many kilometers in the odo the zipper clutch might give you some issues like stuttering issue so this is only because the inner basket might have got a slight indentation with the stock clutch so which matches with the stock clutch so if you don't want the stuttering issue and you want a smooth gear shifting in the stepper clutch unit so i suggest you to you know rest replace the inner basket also just purchase the inner basket from the bajaj service center and uh, replace it and uh, most of the service centers doesn't provide you the inner basket alone so try your luck if you people get the inner basket you can buy that separately or you might have to buy the entire uh, inner basket along with the stock clutch assembly itself now speaking of uh, the slipper clutch assembly uh, people who have watched my video i think they already know that you know it's a direct fit just remove the stock assembly from the inner basket and replace it with you know slipper clutch unit now speaking of the difference after installing the slipper clutch unit uh, yes you might feel a uh, initial pick up or talk increase after installing the slipper clutch but this is not because you have got a power increment or something this is only purely because whenever you up you know install a new clutch unit into a new housing you can feel that traction or friction inside the uh, clutch and you will feel the increase in power that is common until unless you are installing it in a brand new bike so that is pretty common so i could say that uh, in general uh, generally speaking there is no much difference in terms of uh, power or torque after installing the stepper clutch it remain constant so then now speaking of uh, acceleration any drop in performance or something i'll give you a drag test now i think you people could see uh, there is no much of uh, power difference or top difference after installing the stepper clutch unit in ns200 there is no power lag or any you know lag in terms of power output from now bike so you people can feel free to install stepper clutch there is no issue and uh, in terms of your mileage 
there is no drop in mileage my bike was giving around 32 to 33 km per liter in cities and i'm getting the same uh, right now and i couldn't test out in the highways because it's been uh, no, hardly a week that i have installed super clutch and i'm still uh, running it so far no issues i think i'll be getting the same mileage in the highways also so it, from mileage perspective it's a thumbs up there is no drop in mileage and there is no drop in performance also so if you could ask me like will i recommend installing stepple clutch uh, after play after paying around 2800 rupees for the entire clutch unit so i suggest you if you are fine with your stock clutch and you don't want any upgradation if you don't want anything fancy uh you don't want to add anything extra on your bike uh then don't get it uh, until and unless you like the assistive feature that is if you ride in cities and you want a lighter clutch to be there then i definitely suggest you to uh, get a stepper clutch unit now speaking of a lighter clutch from the stock uh, clutch assembly you could see that you know there are four springs compressing all the friction plates and steel plates together wherein uh, in the stepper clutch unit you can see only three springs so people might ask uh, you know whether that doesn't reduce the power output of the clutch assembly this is actually where stepper clutch uh, give out its actual true color where even though it has three springs when you give the accelerator when you give the throttle up the stepper clutch uh, as it slips when you have a back torque the same way when you have a forward moving torque the design of the stepper clutch is in such a way that it compresses even more uh, and uh, give enough pressure on the you know friction plates and the friction materials inside so there is no wastage of power uh, or it can transfer the power efficiently i could say in that way now speaking of uh, the lighter clutch obviously because of three springs inside the clutch unit obviously you will be having a lighter clutch feel and uh, you could uh, ride for a longer time uh, in stop or go traffic there's uh, there will be no pain on your fingers or uh, the wrist after installing the stepper clutch unit now speaking of uh, the reliability uh, stepper clutch is obviously designed by bajaj for n250 for a higher Uh, CC bike, uh, NS 200. Even though it is a lower CC bike, it produces uh, you know enough power and torque where the stepper clutch can handle. So I think the stepper clutch can be reliable. So there is no point of uh, speaking of uh, reliability because it is Bajaj's own clutch, uh, stepper clutch unit wherein they themselves have designed it and uh, they have tested and they have been already producing for. Uh, the N250 is an F250 so i think that's a go to go word it for it so let me cross the signal so if you could see i have installed a projector headlight unit here in NS200 so if you were interested in knowing what sort of projector i have installed and you know what are the advantages and disadvantages of this projector you can always go to my previous videos and check it out and if you want uh, something to be done this is the similar fashion uh, if and you are out of bangalore or if you are even inside bangalore if you are inside bangalore you can directly send me a you know text message in instagram and contact me i'll be helping out how to get the same work done in your bike and if you are out of bangalore i could arrange a, a plug and play system wherein you can just purchase from me and you can install it in your bike and yeah that's it so let me show you how light the super clutch is on the first way i think if you are using your stock ns you could you no know, uh, feel the uh, clutch very much harder but now you can see i could uh, no pull the clutch completely even with one fingers so that's how light it is and uh, i'll show you the demo of uh, the slipping action of the clutch itself uh, let me find a empty road where there is no vehicle
So yeah, uh, the, the stuttering issue that I was speaking about earlier. So as I said, the inner hub uh, will have minor indentations. I'll leave a pic here. You can see the indentations by yourself. So this indentation is pretty common uh, after uh, you use your regular clutch for a while. This is because uh, when you leave the clutch, uh, it actually goes and hits on the inner basket and leaves an indentation there. And over a long period of time, this indentation become bigger and it gets uh, used to the previous uh, clutch assembly itself that the stock assembly and uh, it becomes like a uh, no uh, plug and play system for the stock assembly so when you install the slipper clutch unit uh, this indentation doesn't match with the slipper clutch uh, friction plates so due to which you might get a stuttering issue when you leave the clutch in the lower speeds on the higher speeds you don't even notice it uh, but when you are going in a lower speed like 5 to 10 km per hour at that time you could notice this uh, you know stuttering issue with the clutch plates but uh, you can as I said you can easily solve it by replacing your inner basket also with a brand new one and installing the stripper clutch unit since the basket and the unit uh, together becomes a new one uh, there won't be an indentation, you know, any indentation on the clutch assembly for which uh, you know, this stuttering issue can cause so that could be solved that is nothing a rocket science you can easily do it by yourself and uh, speaking of the clutch working as you can see I'm going in 6th gear now let me drop it to 3rd and I leave the clutch see I am not getting any uh, you know, wheel locking or hopping now so that's how a slip and assist function works so this is the slipping effect and assist is that uh, the clutch feels much lighter that is the assist function of every slipper clutch let me show it one more time so I'm going in 6th gear and there's no vehicle behind me I'm going to 3rd gear I left the clutch so there is no stuttering issue or hopping issue or wheel locking issue after installing the stripper clutch so that's all I think uh, this video could address all the questions and uh, you know, queries that you people had and if you have any more queries that I couldn't address or couldn't cover up in this video you can feel free to text me in Instagram the link has been provided below and if you have any concerns or any recommendations for video you can always feel free to text me and that's it uh, winding up for this vlog the first vlog thank you so much for watching and do consider subscribing to Archeonics channel